Imagine that everything you see, hear, touch, taste and smell is not an external reality, but a projection of your own mind. Ethiopian philosopher Mulat Tazibu suggests the universe and everything in it, including space and time, are mental constructs, a grand simulation in our heads. We experience the world as vividly real, independent of our thoughts and desires. We stub our toe and the pain feels undeniably real. How could these experiences be mere illusions? Tazibu argues that our brains are sophisticated information processors. They receive a constant stream of data from our senses, sight, sound, touch, taste and smell. The brain takes this raw sensory input and weaves it into a coherent narrative that we experience as reality. Our brains don't simply record the world like cameras, they actively interpret and construct it. Our past experiences, beliefs and expectations all colour how we perceive the world around us. In essence, we don't see the world as it is, we see it as we are. Think about how our senses work. When you look at an apple, what you're actually perceiving is not the apple itself, but the light reflecting off it. Your eyes detect this light, which is then converted into electrical signals that travel to your brain. Your brain interprets these signals, drawing on its vast database of stored information to construct an image of an apple. Sounds are just vibrations in the air that our ears convert into electrical signals for the brain to interpret. Our brains are constantly bombarded with sensory information, organizing it into a meaningful experience. Optical illusions demonstrate how easily our brains can be tricked into perceiving things that aren't really there. If our brains are constantly constructing our reality based on incomplete and potentially flawed data, how can we be sure that what we perceive is an accurate representation of the outside world? Tazibu posits that the observer plays a crucial role in shaping reality. He argues that it is the mind or the soul that animates the sensory data received by the brain and constructs the world we experience. In essence, there is no reality without an observer to perceive it. This suggests that each of us experiences a unique reality, shaped by our individual perspectives, memories and beliefs. What I perceive as red might look different to you, not because of any difference in the physical properties of light, but because of subtle variations in how our brains process colour information. If the universe is a mental construct, then we are not separate from it, but rather intimately connected to it. Our thoughts, emotions and intentions influence the reality we experience. Perhaps the most mind-boggling aspect of Tazibu's philosophy is his assertion that space itself is a mental construct. We tend to think of space as an objective reality, a vast empty expanse that exists independently of us. But Tazibu argues that space, like everything else, is a product of the mind. We perceive distances, sizes and shapes based on the information our senses provide. Without an observer to perceive them, these concepts become meaningless. Imagine a universe devoid of any sentient beings. Would the concept of space have any meaning in such a universe? Without anyone to observe distances, shapes or sizes, space would simply be a formless void. Only when a conscious observer enters the picture does space, as we understand it, come into being. Tazibu's ideas have profound implications for how we understand ourselves and the universe we inhabit. If reality is indeed a mental construct, then the universe is not a cold, indifferent machine, but rather a realm of mind, consciousness and perhaps even purpose. His perspective challenges the materialist worldview that has dominated scientific thought for centuries. Tazibu's philosophy suggests that consciousness is not an afterthought, but rather the very foundation of reality. Mulat Tazibu's ideas offer a fresh and thought-provoking perspective on the nature of reality. Whether or not one agrees with his conclusions, his work forces us to confront fundamental questions about consciousness, perception and the nature of self. By encouraging us to question our assumptions about the nature of reality, he opens up new avenues of inquiry and invites us to explore the universe within and the universe without with a sense of wonder and curiosity. The next time you look up at the night sky or marvel at the complexity of your own hand, remember that you are not just observing the universe, 
you are, in a very real sense, creating it.